Now let me ask you this. We was talking about platforms. I, I believe the night you was interviewed for preacher Michael Cummins, yes. him and his wife quit. They done a wonderful job. They asked you what would your platform be, or what would you want to talk about as your reign as singing Miss Lumbee? And, and you said you just want to talk to the youth. I mean, you said you want to talk to the youth and about how not it, forget about the Creator, the which Creator. Is God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what 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 message would you like to talk to our youth about? about stopping drugs and stuff like that. Oh, well, I always talk to them about drugs. Not to start it, they won't have to quit it. When they not never start smoking, if they don't start smoking, they won't never have to quit smoking. That's true. I always stay uh, not in bad company, try to go to church, uh -huh. be obedient to their fathers and mothers, that's what the Bible says there, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's, that's Obey your father and mother. mother. Uh -huh. That's right. Now, let me ask you this. There's a lot of our elders, uh, they're at home, and, and they're kind of depressed. It looks like nobody wants to come visit them or stuff, but, but I've noticed you. You get out and you go. Yeah, I try to get out that, and visit that, that, sick that, people. Yes, yeah. you get out and you actually get involved in the community. In the community, we have a nutrition site. We go up there and we play bingo. That's at Newman Chapel Community we Building. The mm -hmm. nursing homes mm -hmm. and try to do something for somebody out there that can't get out and do for themselves. I tell you what, you get a lot of that. Yeah. You enjoy that a lot, don't I you? I sure do. That makes you feel better, yeah, don't Yeah, it makes me feel good. So what Miss Molly's telling us that elders, if you're in the house, just get out and get involved. Mm -hmm. Get out and get involved. And I'll tell you one way you can get involved is through our elders service program here at the tribe. We have 10 different elders groups scattered across the, our, our communities in uh, Robson, Hope, Cumberland, Scotland County. And that's one way to get back involved. There's a lot of people that we, let me put it like this, elders, we need you. We need your advice, just like we need Miss Molly and what difference we and I, I envision Miss Molly. I hope you get time. I know you're going to be busy, but I hope she gets time to go out and talk to our youth in schools. I'm going to try to do and, that and, too. and get them to understand how hard. You remember the Hoover days? How, was, how yeah. I was raised. How you was raised, yeah. and, and the way they're raised now, it, it, it's like icing on the cake. I mean, that's they right. don't know no hard work, Miss Molly. That's true. They don't know about getting up in the morning on a frost or picking cotton. They sure don't. Or sucking the back yard. Sweeping yard. We had to hoe our yards. Yeah. Wouldn't let the grass grow. Well, I say you didn't worry about lawnmowers because you didn't have those grass and killed the grass. That's right. That's right. And making soap and these things now, Mr. Bodley, when is the first time you remember having electricity in your home? Can you remember? No, I don't know. I remember, I thought, look, if I'm thinking back, I want to say it was back in the 50s when I first remember. Probably was, too, because we didn't have none. Uh huh. Didn't have no bathrooms either. No bathrooms. Yeah, not. I remember the first TV, Mom and Dad bought a little black and white, and everybody come over to the house on Saturday and watch what was named Slim Mims. Slim Mims. You remember right? Slim Mims? Yeah. Yeah, that was good days, right? Yes, it was. <laughs> it black, well, I mean, it weren't in color, it was black and white. Black and white. It just gets snow across it a lot of times, you couldn't see it. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, how can people, if a school wants you to come out and talk to the kids, what they need to do, just call you or yeah, Natasha or some of them, yeah. and, and you'll be more than willing to go. I'll just be set, to go. put it on your calendar yeah. where you can go. That's right. So teachers, parents, if you want Miss Molly to come out and talk to the kids, whether it's in the, it's just carried a step farther, whether it's in the school system or at the church. Yeah. You couldn't ask for a finer Christian lady to come talk to the youth. And trust me, Miss Molly's got a story to tell about how hard it was when she was raised up. That's right. And a lot of things we got now taken for granted, they didn't even exist. That's true. Young people, the cell phone, the telephone, didn't. I can remember we didn't have. Remember when they come out with the telephone? We had, we had party with, lines. We had to play with bricks and sticks for our baby. There, there. <laughs> <laughs> you remember to come out with the telephone? Everybody had a, it was a, what they call the party line. You can pick up and listen to what it's. Your neighbor was that's saying, right. yeah, that's right. 
Folks, the world has changed, and Miss yes, Molly, it sure I, is. No, it's changed a lot. It's amazing. Do you ever think you'll see some of the things you're no, saying today? Sure. It, right. it's, it's amazing. You can get on a computer and look and see what's going on in China, anywhere else. It's, it's just so amazing. And uh, Miss Molly, I, I know you have a passion for music, so I, I want you to see if I can get a commitment out of it. If you're invited to a school. Would you mind singing that song to Esther? I sure would. Would you say, all right, we got it, we got it, we got it on tape, we got it verified, Miss Molly, saying you having the time of your life. Now, Miss Molly, I just, as the chairman of the tribe, I just don't know how to tell you how proud we are of you. Well, I'm proud to be Miss Lumbee. I believe you are. I never thought about it before. I could see it in your eyes that night. Mm -hmm. I could see that in your eyes that night. Folks, this is what we're talking about. We've got to make sure we don't forget, and especially don't forget the honor of two groups. That's our veterans and our elders. Now, upon the leadership of Miss Molly, she's going to take our elders to another level. She's going to be able to show the elders, hey, let's get out here and let's get active. Our people still need us. Don't sit at home and be depressed. Let's get out here. We still, you still got to call it. Our kids need you, elders. Wouldn't you agree That's with that, Miss yeah. They need wisdom. A lot of our kids, they don't have no wisdom at home. A lot of times, mom and dad's not even at home That's when they true. go home. So they need something stable in their life, a, a, a fine role model. And I'll tell you what, Miss Molly. On behalf of me and 55,000 of me in this, we couldn't have a better role model Thank you. than you. I mean, you're marred, and you're, I just want to honor you in that today. And again, I want to say, you'll be taking a look at the first singing Miss Lumbee, and we'll take a short break and be right back from the chairman's desk. Thank you That was much. good. That Thank was you. good. Molly, you wrote a song. I sure did. And it's captured everybody's attention and heart. And I'll tell you one thing, girl, when you sing, everybody just starts laughing. Yeah, we're having the time of well, our I, lives. I, having the time. What inspired you to write that song? Well, I just thought about writing it. Have you always been musically inclined? Singing, yeah. You always enjoyed singing? Yeah, in the always part? enjoyed singing. And just something just told you to write that song. i tell you what, did you know the difference it made in a lot of people's lives? as far as making them happy. And that's what they say. Yeah. They always want me to sing it. Oh, yeah, well, you've got that word. You go, you ask to sing that song. We're having the time of our lives. We're having the time of our lives. No more children at home. We can use the telephone. We're having the time of our lives. Lots of years have transpired. Most of us have retired. We're having the time of our lives. No more clocks must be punched. We're a big happy bunch. We're having the time of our lives. We're having the time of our lives. We're having the time of our lives. No more children at home. We can use the telephone. We're having the time of our lives. No more work resumes, no more school PTAs. We're having the time of our lives. No more what the boss says, we can fish when we please. We're having the time of our lives. We're having the time of our lives. We're having the time of our lives. No more children at home. We can use the telephone. We're having the time of our lives. We're having the time of our lives. We're having the time of our lives. No more children at home. We can use the telephone. We're having the time of our lives. Woo!